Luquia is a tiny town nestled high in the Andes Mountains in Peru, more than 17,000 feet above sea level. It's not much of a town, really, just a small cluster of modest adobe dwellings scattered around plots of land where descendants of the ancient Incan Empire cultivate potatoes, barley, and beans. There are no stores at all. The nearest commerce is a three-and-a-half-hour bus ride along a treacherous mountain road. No television signals reach Lukia, and the several hundred people who live here couldn't afford to buy a television set anyway. The average income is less than a dollar a day. They live in extreme poverty. In Lukia, most children assume that they will grow up to be subsistence farmers like their parents, and only a few leave the village to work in gold mines or at menial jobs in Peru's capital, Lima, which is 16 hours away by bus. We visited Luquia because it's one of the first of more than 5,000 isolated villages where the Peruvian government is sending 140,000 small, child-friendly laptop computers that are loaded with educational software and reading materials in Spanish. It's part of a bold effort to improve the country's dismal educational system. Peruvian students rank among the lowest in the world in reading comprehension and mathematical skills. Even their teachers score poorly on tests. The government hopes that the laptops will help children learn at their own speed, exploring the internet to learn more about the world beyond their tiny mountain villages. Three weeks before our visit, Peru's president, Alan Garcia, had helicoptered into Luquia to deliver the computers. At first, the principal kept the laptops locked in his office at night. He had never had such valuable equipment in his school before. In the mornings, the children line up in the grassy schoolyard to receive their computers, and then they run excitedly to their classroom to start using them. Most of the students are malnourished. The diet here consists mostly of potatoes and beans. Their only protein is the occasional egg or a guinea pig which families raise inside their dirt floor homes. The school day starts at 8.30 in the morning, but the teachers say that by noon the kids have no energy left to learn. Teacher Pedro Santana, who also is a school principal, is learning along with the children, as he has never used a computer before. Santana and the school's two other teachers were given just a week of training in how to use and repair the sturdy laptops, which are built to withstand dust, moisture, and the not-so-occasional crash to the floor. Most of Peru's primary schools don't have electricity, and only 3% of the country's 90,000 public schools are connected to the Internet. Lukia has electricity and recently got a satellite dish for internet access, but it suffers from frequent blackouts that can last for hours. The government plans to provide more remote schools with small solar panels to power each student's laptop, whose batteries last for three hours. Lukia's primary school teachers seem enthusiastic about the laptops. Teacher Reynaldo Riveros played a song in Spanish that's installed on his laptop to teach his first and second grade students about vowels, and then the students typed words and sentences using the vowels they had learned. They were delighted when the computer's synthesized voice pronounced what they had written. Fifth and sixth graders used the laptop's built-in digital camera to take photographs and then practice their computer handling skills by turning the photographs into jigsaw puzzles. After school, children like Justo Manuel, an 11-year-old fifth grader, take the laptops home, allowing their parents and siblings to become computer literate as well. His mother, who only completed the first grade before having seven children, says she hopes a computer will help Justo Manuel become something other than a subsistence farmer when he grows up. It does seem that the laptops provide stimulation and challenges these kids never would have had otherwise. We visited another town called Atawai, located just four hours outside of Peru's capital, where the laptops have been tested for a full year. Teachers there report that students quickly showed significant improvement in reading comprehension and math skills. The Internet helped them become more interested in the world beyond their small community, and several students told us they had decided to be lawyers or engineers when they grow up. Thirteen-year-old Anthony says he wants to become an accountant in a big city. Nine-year-old Yesenia wants to be a cabaret singer, following in the footsteps of a woman from Ottawa whose music video the children have watched repeatedly on YouTube. It's too early to tell whether distributing laptops to Peruvian school children will dramatically improve their educational levels, but it seems pretty clear that computer literacy means their lives will be very different than those of their parents and grandparents. This is Jerry Smith in Peru.